Hey there, Libra. How are you doing? Okay, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your general reading for March, so we will jump right in. What message do we have for Libra? What kind of energy do we have for Libra at this moment, please, spirits? Messages for Libra. Okay, we have pride. I love myself, and I see myself in everyone, okay? At the bottom, we have regret. So I know that I cannot change the past. Okay, there may be some things in the past that have hurt you, that have, you know, really molded the person that you are. Okay, so I feel like maybe working on past issues or letting go of things of the past are going to be very helpful for you, Libra. Okay, let's get another Oracle card for Libra, please. Okay, this one wanted to come out. Okay, we have wisdom. Yeah, I think you're gaining a lot of wisdom. Um, things that you've gone through, things that you've been through have molded you. And I feel like with those challenges and struggles that you've been through, Libra, I feel like you have gained a lot of wisdom through those challenges because you have a lot of achievements. Okay, we also have self-worth at the bottom. So I feel like at this moment, Libra, you are focusing on building yourself up, you know, creating this new Libra. I feel a lot of change coming in for you. You know, I feel like you're working on things. There's some kind of opportunities that you're pursuing, uh, but I feel like you're gaining a lot more confidence. Okay, so beautiful. Let's take a look at the tarot. What do does the tarot, what messages do we have for Libra? Okay. And of course, I can't go on a reading without dropping a card. It just doesn't happen. Wow. Okay, the card that wanted to fall out is the Nine of Swords. So I feel like, you, you know, you're spending a lot of time you know, maybe worrying or uh, fearing some kind of outcome. There's something that's going on that's keeping you up at night, okay? Some kind of doubts, some kind of fears. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Beautiful and the tower okay now what did i say i said there's there's a lot of change going on for you right now libra there's a lot of things that you're working through okay um we also have the high priestess at the bottom so i feel like you know what's done in the dark is going to come to light Okay, something is being revealed to you. Those are the words that the Spirit is giving me. You know, what's done in the dark will come to light. You know, something will be revealed. You'll get the answers that you need. Um, it may be about love. It may be about someone that you are dealing with. Um, but I feel like, you know, you are going to find these answers. Okay, so there's no need to worry or doubt because, you know, you are worth more than how you feel. I feel like, you know, you need to hear that, Libra, that you are priceless. Okay, and I think Spirit is letting you know that there is going to be some kind of offer, some kind of situation is coming forward for you where it's going to offer you an opportunity. This is a, a big opportunity. This may be a new job, new money, you know, but something's coming in as a blessing. Something is bringing you a blessing, Libra. And I feel like, you know, if you're open to love, this could be love coming in, offering you something that is going to be very valuable to you, uh, something that you're looking for that, you know, you're very interested in. Um, but let's see. There is something that you're letting go of, Libra, and I feel like you're walking away from these past situations. 
I feel like you're walking away from this feeling of, you know, feeling hurt or, you know, worrying about situations. You're not letting it bother you. You're walking away from the situation. And because you know that worrying doesn't change an outcome. Worrying just is, you know, simply used up energy that has no effect, you know? But I feel like there's something that you're walking away from. And what you are walking into is this new offer. Like I said, if you're open to love, there's love here. There's an offer coming in. Someone's going to propose a new offer to you. Something, um, it could be new love, new passion. It could be something that you love to do. But someone wants to, you know, show you how much they care. You know, someone is offering you their cup of love, okay? So it's beautiful energy, Aries. And now look at this. You know, we have this ending here. We have this ending. Something is about to change. Something is about to be pulled from under you is what I want to say. But right behind it, you have something so much better. Okay, so don't fear this tower moment. This tower moment is more like a blessing in disguise because right behind it is a huge opportunity waiting for you. This is a new beginning. This may be a new job or a new um, way to make a living. You know, I, I feel like, you know, as something is ending, something new is beginning. Okay, so no worries here, Libra. You got this, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify this reading for Libra. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Spirit, give me a message for this Nine of Swords, please. Message for this Nine of Swords. Okay, yeah, we have the Temperance. So with this Nine of Swords energy, you have healing. You're going to feel more balanced. There is a blessing that's coming, you know? And so you are going to have more recovery. You're going to have less worry. You know, that there is nothing that is holding you down. You know, those fears are just fears. And I feel like those things you are releasing, so you're going to feel more balanced, more happy, because this blessing is coming forward for you, okay? Um, give me a message for this, uh, the Knight of Cups. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, I think that you are, you're taking a look at your options, Libra. I feel like you know, you're kind of assessing the situation. You're thinking if it's worth it. Is this person, is this offer worth accepting, you know? And then um, I feel like you haven't totally made a decision if you're taking this offer or not, okay? So, okay, Libra is assessing the situation, taking a look at those options. Hmm. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. The King of Cups. Wow. So we have the King, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Look at this. So yeah, this, this may have to do with love, Libra, because the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, you're finding this new beginning very valuable. So I feel like something that you left up, what, what I'm feeling like is maybe you have left some kind of situation and you're pursuing some new situation um, because of this tower moment here and i feel like you're finding love during this time during this new beginning during this new beginning stage this new love is going to come in and i feel like this new love is very appealing because the king of cups he's very appealing you know he's he's shows his emotions and, but he's also very supportive and nurturing. He knows how to treat you, you know. And I, I feel like you, you find that very refreshing. Okay, tell me about this Eight of Cups. 
there's a lot of cups in this reading. So you could be dealing with someone, um, maybe a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Maybe a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. There's a lot of cups here. Okay, tell me about this Eight of Cups, please. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, Libra. I feel like, you know, you there's something that you're leaving behind. And I feel like there's something that was very hard for you to leave behind. Um, I'm really getting that maybe it was a job that you really loved. Uh, some kind of career that you really enjoyed. That you had to walk away from or that you were let go of. Okay, but I feel like, you know, you are reluctant to letting this go. You want to hold on to it, although you know you're not able to, but you are still willing to go on. You're, you're willing not to give up. You know, there may be something that you're fighting for. Okay, but I, I feel like, hmm, I feel like there's something better, Libra. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're being very persistent. You're not letting things get you down. Okay. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. The Hermits. Now, each time I shuffled, I also got the star. So I feel like there's a lot of healing going for you. There's a, a lot of healing that you're going through at the moment, Libra. Um, but I feel like with this Queen of Cups, with this Queen of Cups energy and the Hermit, there's something that you're figuring out. I feel like you're working through your emotions, but you're still protecting yourself. Um, you may be trying out new opportunities, you know, may, you may be dating and dipping your toes in the waters to see how, how it feels, you know, taking a look at your options, but I feel like, you know, you you feel like you're looking for just the right person, you know, or you're looking for just the right job. And I, I feel like, you know, with this Queen of Cups and this Hermit, I, I feel like, you know, you're you're just in that stage where you're trying to figure things out. You're trying to see what opportunities work and what opportunities don't. Okay, um, tell me more about this tower. Tell me more about this tower for Libra. The Knight of Cups. Wow, we got the Knight of Cups twice. So definitely some kind of love. This is definitely some kind of love situation. I feel like something had to fall apart. Something is changing. Something is evolving. Um, there was something that you had to walk away from. Now, this King of Cups is coming through here twice. Excuse me, this Knight of Cups. You've got two Knights, the Queen, and the King of Cups. A lot of Cups here. This is definitely love. This is definitely someone that you had to walk away from. And then someone new is bringing in an offer. Someone new is standing on standby. You know, they maybe have been watching what you were going through, seeing the situation, seeing how badly it hurt you. And I feel like they're standing by. They're waiting for you to be free. Because now, once you're free, once you're free of this situation, of this old energy here, Libra, I feel like this new person wants to swoop in and propose their love to you. They want to offer you their cup of love, you know? So that, wow. You have a knight in shining, shining armor. Libra. A prince charming. Hmm. He's coming in to swoop in and save the day. Give me an outcome for Libra. Give me an outcome, please. Wow. You can't make this up. 
this this offer that's coming in is going to be your love offer this is a soulmate situation look at this queen of cups oh my goodness yes you're done and over with that with that offer with that um first situation you've left them totally behind eight of cups again you've left you've left them behind you know, you're not even worried about the person that you're leaving because this new person is coming in and filling in all the gaps. They're showing you this emotion. They're bringing out new feelings, you know, a feeling of worth, of being appreciated, being wanted. Um, this new person that's coming in to propose their love to you is making you feel like, all those things that you went through are done and over with and you're starting over again with this new king or queen you know take a higher resonate so it could be male or female but i feel like you're done with this situation you're ready for this new beginning and you are walking towards this new king of cups this new love you know beautiful Wow, I wasn't expecting that, Libra. I really wasn't. I wasn't expecting such a um, interesting outcome here, okay? So, let's take a look. Let's get some Oracle cards for you. What do we have for Libra? We're going to get an Angel card. Here we go. Look at an angel card. For Libra. Okay. It's safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world yeah i feel like it's safe for you to pursue this new love it's safe for you to pursue whatever opportunity this is for you because i feel like spirit is letting you know you know it's time it's time to feel appreciated and loved you know this is the person you've been waiting for okay so have patience you know build yourself up libra okay we have release your blocks whatever's blocking you libra it's time to release those things you know and that's what we've been saying in this reading release those things that are holding you back okay because i feel like it's very important and also practice gratitude being thankful for the situations we in we are in great or small you know being grateful for those blessings regardless of how you know large or, or small they may be you know the universe takes notice of things that we're grateful for so i feel like being grateful is is you know very beneficial for you okay let's get an angel number for Libra. Let's get an angel number. Okay, we have 666, which is reflection. When you allow time for reflection, you allow yourself to see where inner shifts are needed. It's time for you to look at your beliefs and ask, is this serving me or is it time for me to release this? reflect refocus and readjust okay your affirmation is as i refocus on what serves my highest good i feel myself shift into my highest self okay all right Libra, that is your affirmation so if you accept this reading please um write the affirmation i reflect 
refocus and readjust. Okay? All right, Libra. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have all of the March readings in the playlist. And uh, take a look at that. And your Venus sign, too, if you're open to love. Take a look at your Venus sign if you know that. All right, Libra, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and beautiful light.